If you cannot be loved by your party, how can you be loved by the Ghanaian people? If you are not loved by your party, how sure are you you'll be loved by the Ghanaian people? Because your party is where they know you, they value you, they respect you. So if that place alone, you cannot win majority, who told you you can win majority when it comes to the president? Everybody's struggling to get what he can get to become president. And you think that they are going to use tissue and clean as well. Alan, your party, or they were by Yantemenye. Masa, if you're a man, you're a man. You must be a man to become a president because it comes with so many challenges. Elections, you don't win elections easily. Nobody will treat you fairly in an election period. You have to fight to become who you want to be. You don't run away from the race and go and raise up your hand and say, I want to be independent candidate. We don't do that. You should have waited. Okay. It is the word cash that is attached to his name that makes people look for him, who is the Alan Cash. Oh, okay. It is not the individual. You can have a name that is interesting, that people want to know, Alan Cash. It's the cash attached to the Alan that people were eager to see. But does he have cash? He doesn't. They don't know him. What he? Yeah. Not like in Japan, that or about me, that people know him from the grassroots. But any time he resigns, he runs. So this time, it's a different case anyway. He has resigned, he says he's going independent. But who, it, o, 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 who is going to vote for Alan for independent to become president? What's your target to you for now? Is he a young man himself? Or target to you, Alan himself, or a young man? So he resigning and from his party. No serious MPP man will follow Alan. But he can cause some small damages. And, but he has done it too early. So it is very good for the MPP because they can change it also quickly. He has given them ample time to make decisions. Or, you know, too early, mamu. So they have time to correct it. If you had done it, let's say, let's say six months or eight months to election, that would have been a disaster, very serious problem for the MPP. In fact, the MPP for us, but the parties and the people who are praying about it, and this will be free more. Parties are not the dynamics in the baby. And in the APC, Penia or no, and we have Frank Kuta for Dr. Hassan Ayarga and the other people who are coming. Doc, you are welcome. Okay, that's it. Uh, one thing I'm realizing is that I say our visibility now is serious. Our billboards all over. Are they? We are starting too early. When him say this year Ghana is prepared for us, and um, where we are, you do know when him say Ghanaians are tired of the NDC and the MPP. So this year, we must have hope. We must have third force. So Hassan Erega is giving them that hope. No more pay. So that at least in 2024, the options are available. If you don't want NDC, you don't want MPP, you go for Hassan Erega. So visibility, no. Most of the times, when you see NDC media, no, it's hijacked by NDC and MPP. So sometimes, even when you make uh, what kind of um, stories, no, and do all the uh, t t party, so. I didn't hear Penny say, Up you fear. If you look left, over who has an erga. Oko church, up your church. If you look right, over who has an erga. Over work side, if you come out of your house, when you look at the next pool, it is Hassan erga. This is the hope that we are giving to the people to begin to see Hassan erga and put him in their memories. Okay. So that when I start okay. campaigning, they will all know who is Hassan erga very well. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, should be there in Hong Kong. But number three position here, okay, yeah. um, is in contention now. Gum actually say on the year number three, Alan Chemantin and Ra Ofri MPP mu or say now there is a third force in which is uh, the Afrofrontal movement, the Butterfly movement, that is um, movement for change, and he also can at least Ghanaians who have a third force to choose from. Amongst which, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, Casa third force, no, a year position, a Casa. Okay. A percentage of vote, no, a Casa. Okita 0.9, now also we are third force, they third force, no. Yeah, Gum, the Anana. But, but, yeah, can Kaya. Remember, Okita 0.9, only one person, also we are third force. It doesn't make you a third force. 
it only makes you probably a third position by a third force. On state politics, we are we say we are resigning. Now we see we are third force. Then we are the Do you think third force is like that? You have never tested an election before, and you call yourself a third force. It is not easy to become a third force. Let us not joke with the word third force. Third force means that you have a percentage that within the three two major political, but you are you are you are you are break through. What break it through? So, for instance, NDC Omukita, thirty five percent; MPP Kita, forty percent; APC Kita, thirty five percent. That is the third force we are talking about. What we see, you better make a second round. Okay. So yeah. the the opportunity is that. The Ghanaian people have now seen that three political parties are the ones running the elections and they are going to win. But um, you have not started an election and you call yourself a third force. You have not even filed, you call yourself a third force. You just resigned. <laughs> you don't call yourself a third force. Because minority parties will move on. It is not easy to form a party. You need to have 275 offices across Ghana. Proper structures. Pulling station executive, constituency executive, regional executives, national executive. Mm. And those people are not third for you who have come single human being. We have not even registered uh, to become, you have not even filed anything. You say we are a third force. That's a movement. Plenty of people over Kita movement. Movement you can count from one to up to thousand or more. But it does not make them the third force of Ghana. What we are saying, we even wanted to put all the minority parties together. That has been my agenda. To bring all the Nkrumah's party and the other minorities party that will form the third force so that we have three political parties to contest the election. Once we have three political parties, automatically the third force is there. So the NDC, the MPP and all alliance parties, APC, GUM, PNC, CPP, all of us will come together and elect one flag bearer. Now we have given the Ghanaians the opportunity to choose between NDC and MPP and us. Automatically, that is a third force. Okay. Wahoo. Okay. But when you have an election, you are going, you have 11 political parties, you have maybe two uh, independent You don't come and say, because I'm independent candidate, I'm a third force. Then I will. Ma no ma um, what do you say while resigning from the NPP and going independent? Um, how did you feel? Do you, do you think it's a wise decision? Um, I will not dignify it with a response, but because you are here, I will do that. The point here is that Alan has allowed his emotions to carry him. Because one, you are in a race and the race is not over. And you resign from the race and say that they, t they didn't treat you well. Mm -hmm. Do you think that if you come for the national delegate, national election, they are going to treat you well. Do you think going into 2024 as an independent candidate you'll be treated well? No. Parties are coming. NDC is coming. MPP is coming. APC is coming. Everybody struggling to get what he can get to become president. And you think that they are going to use tissue and clean as your Alan, your party, or they were by your team. Masa, if you're a man, you're a man. You must be a man to become a president. Because it comes with so many challenges. Elections, you don't win elections easily. Nobody will treat you fairly in an election period. You have to fight to become who you want to be. You don't run away from the race and go and raise up your hand and say, I want to be independent candidate. We don't do that. You should have waited. Go into the race. You see, when you say, I have interviewed B. Name Katira say, Kenya Jampo is the most dangerous among them. Why would see Abba? He became second. He took over Alan and became second. Just, just like operation, the way I was sharing the paper. Abba, mm -hmm. Alan should have waited. Yeah. The mere, you know, the 1,000 delegates now, it is a special delegate for MPs, ministers, DCs, and all the national executives. Mm -hmm. They would definitely vote for the vice president because they are eating with him. Omokita positions. If they vote against the vice president, there will be a problem. So even if Alan got one, and he's among the five. Let us see, he should thank God because he was among the five. Now, going into the second one, which is 203 delegates now, that one is everybody. It's not how you campaign. Mm -hmm. 
they cannot be influenced by the government. Even Baumia himself must go to them. It is not a situation where you sit down and call somebody and say, vote for Baumia and they will do that. No. There are people you don't know. There are people you don't see. And they are going to vote. You don't know who voted, who didn't vote. So that was Alan's chance to prove himself that he is loved by the MPP. If you cannot be loved by your party, how can you be loved by the Ghanaian people? If you are not loved by your party, how sure are you you be loved by the Ghanaian people? Because your party is where they know you, they value you, they respect you. So if that place alone, you cannot win majority. Who told you you can win majority when it comes to the president? But like I said, he was in a rush and he decided, I don't know those who advise him, but if I was to advise him, I would say, Jinoho, Yanko. You will see your strength and your weaknesses. But he, he pulled off. After pulling out, he should have also waited again. He shouldn't have announced to become an independent, an independent and resigning from the party. He should have waited for the 4th November election to be over. Okay. And you look at the dynamics. One would say, you wait to see if, okay, you've pulled out, then wait. Let them go. November is just right here, very close. Omo ko, omo ye election na. Now who? Why na ebe wini? Then after you have seen the winner, then you now strategize and see: Am I still going to be part of the party? Is the winner my favorite? Is he my friend? Is he a candidate I can work with? Is he somebody we can judge? Or are you getting what I'm saying? If not, then you can now come with your second decision of saying I'm pulling off. But if you, if you even pull out, where are you going? Alan, this is not the first time Alan has yeah. resigned from the MPP. Yeah. In 2007-2008, he resigned. And he ran away. He came back again this time. Don't forget, Alan is not a grassroots man. Okay. It is the word cash that is attached to his name that makes people look for him, who is the Alan Cash. Oh, okay. It is not the individual. You can have a name that is interesting that people want to know. Alan Cash. Is the cash attached to the Alan that people were eager to see? But does he have cash? He doesn't. Wow. Because if he has cash, he will say, This man, this politics is about money too. So, why would say Alan know? It was a name. But Alan always, when I say he's not a grassroots man, He's not a grassroots because people don't, at the MPP grassroots level, he has never contested for MP. He has never contested to become assemblyman okay, okay. or any uh, party executive. He always come out when it's national election, then he goes. He wants to be president. You don't become president like that in a big political party. You must follow the terrain. You must go through the processes and campaign for the people to know you. They don't know him. What he? Yeah. Not like in Japan, that or oh, uh, Baumia, that people know him from the grassroots. But anytime he resigns, he runs. So this time it's a different case anyway. He has resigned, he says he's going independent. But who, it, o, 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 who is going to vote for Alan for independent to become president? Hey, what's your target to you for now? Is he, a, is he a young man himself? Or target to you for Alan himself or a young man? Alan is not a young man. The man is 70 years. He has actually shot himself on the foot, right in the foot. I mean, if I'm going to advise him, I would have said that he didn't do well. Because for me, MPP and NDC, check their history and see. Nobody resigns from them and form a party and has even gotten 0.5%. Take Tarzan. Take Guchitano. Take former first lady. Konedu. What, I, what did she get? She didn't even beat anybody apart from uh, Kwe Daokong. <laughs> wow. The NDC and the MPP platforms, they don't vote for, they don't follow individuals. NDC and MPP, they don't follow individuals. They follow their party, their platform. So whoever is made their flag bearer, all of them will go and vote for the person to win. It is not about you that they are voting for. It is about themselves, their stomach. 
The MPP and the NDC don't vote for you because they want you to be president. They want you to lead them and bring them the food. So anybody who is going to disrupt their food, they will not listen to the person. In a case where already they are in power. And you Alan come and say you are resigning. And we go where? We are already in power. Who is following you? Somebody who is hungry. When we Do you understand what I'm saying? So the problem is that they are in power. So he resigning and from his party, no serious MPP man will follow Alan. But he can cause some small damages and but he has done it too early. So it is very good for the MPP because they can change it also quickly. He has given them ample time to make decisions. Or you know, too early, mamu. So they have time to correct it. If you had done it, let's say, let's say six months or eight months to election, that would have been a disaster, very serious problem for the MPP. But he made it too early. One year, three months to go into an election. It is easy for the NDC to MPP to correct it within three months. And everybody will forget about Alan. What year? Uh, seriously, my, my, uh, I'm a political analyst, they didn't come about these issues, but the analysis, I will break it down, so you see, I know it's so deep. And I don't know, so maybe uh, Alan Shia won't tell me why, and now you yeah, say yeah, interview, I'll bring a tea set or be resigning, and maybe I'm not going to be a sister, but uh, it's late now. Or the, yes. or, the, or, the, or the butterfly number, also, or the, or the, or the broom, right? Yeah, APC a broom, but the butterfly is not flying when it's dead. When the butterfly is dead, he's dead on arrival, how can you fly? The, the butterfly is dead on arrival. No, it's not dead though. Enra o tu pa... Dabi, dabi, dabi. O de tie. O nim se, if you come with a new movement, you will get people shouting, hey, Alan, 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 Alan. O de nyabu trekakra. Yeah, you were party, no? You were inside, you were inside politics, pa. You were caught two, three months. O shout, Alan, kwa. O kwa, on temi shout it. Nobody will follow him. It's, it's, it's so sad. He's a nice gentleman, but he's too, he, he, was, he, should have, he should have just... Uh, he has destroyed his political career. Mm. Alan cannot win any election. He cannot even... He should look at the history of um, independent candidates. He's not... So I heard somebody saying that he's on top of all the other candidates, including minority party. Who, 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 where? Why is Alan on top of who? Who? Me or who? Yanja Adena Ekasagana who? You remove John Muhammad to go and form a party and see the votes you get. 0. 0.00. He should leave NDC. Remove Akuf Ado to go and form a party and see. He will get 0. 0. 0.00. You think to form a party is easy? It is not easy. You think it's easy to get votes? These parties have built themselves over the years, and the party members are following them because there is something they believe. Why do you think businessmen? Omo kita two million dollars. Omo before one million comma NDC. No more. Omo is omo quiet. No more for another one million my MPP. Because they believe that fifty fifty one person one of them will win. That's why they are giving. If they give me one million dollars, you think that I will not break through? Wow. So their their support base is the one fueling their campaigns and all the people following them they are not following them because they love them they are following them because they know they can win the next election so nobody will know leave where there is victory and go and follow a loser because as of now mpp is in power and they are fighting to break the eight so it was alan i mean alan is i mean are they open they're not open because who? you have been made minister in this current government. If this government is bad, you are part of it. Okay. You cannot say that you uh, trade me. Look at the Ministry of Trade. What have they done? Look at the prices of goods and services in the market. You have held that position. What have you done? Let's look at your achievement as a minister. If you think that you are too good, why is the ministry that you have handled suffering? Huge debts, everything. What is wrong with you? You are the one. You cannot tell me that you want to bring in policies and the president will say, don't bring. No. It's your ministries. 
You should be able to manage. You should be able to tell Mr. President, if I'm doing this and you say, no, I'll resign. Because this is the right thing for our country. But when you come, because you predict that you're going to lose the primaries and you run away and you go and form, you say you want to be independent, you are already a loser. No, or predict he said he, is, he was going to lose. That's uh, why. Not because we, my, my, my culture is saying Kennedy Japan is dangerous. Yeah. People were expecting Alan to beat Kennedy Japan. Yeah. Then, then they see. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So going into the train, no, mm -hmm. he's scared that he might lose again. Mm -hmm. So for him, the easiest way is to say independent. It's very easy to, for any anyway, coffee, even if you want, tomorrow you can become independent candidate. Kofi, you better me better me file a Now be independent candidate. Now media men now move to man. Now who be the president? Who is he? Who kita? Who kita? Huge followers. But who be the president? These followers, all of them, will not vote for you. But they follow you because of the news, the good thing you bring. But they love you as Kofi TV. But they don't love you as president. They love you. Because of the things you do for them. But if you say you want to be present today, they'll all run away. So, Allah know there is no way. He shouldn't lie to himself. The only thing Alan is going to do now is to destroy the MPP, like I said. But the MPP has time to correct his mistakes. But what he has, at the end on, on, he didn't think of is that he has destroyed his own political career. He has destroyed the career of his family. He has destroyed the political career of his children. He has destroyed the political career of his friends that are around him. Those who are going to resign and follow them. Because after this independent race, he's not going to go anywhere again because he's even old. So he's pulling them out of their future. He's taking them off their future. And they shouldn't listen to him. Because he has selfishness. He's destroyed all those group of people with the selfish interests of their career and their future. And they don't know they have shouted Alan Kash, Alan Kash. Now all of you are going to leave the MPP where you have a future and have hope. Now be far at the end of the So your children cannot be members of the MPP in the future. They will find it very difficult people. Alan Kash, my friend, get away. Your father disgraced us. Your father did ABC. We cannot accept you in this party. And even if we accept you, we will not vote for you. So his children's future is destroyed through his interest. So sometimes when you want to make a decision, you don't think about yourself alone. You have to think of the collective interest of everybody. If I make this decision, will it affect me? Will it affect my family? Will it and before you make that decision, because you're a grown man, you shouldn't make some kind of nasty decision because some people are following you. And uh, the, I'm, I'm told some people said that it is the Ashanti people who wants an Ashanti candidate. I mean, if the Ashantis want an Ashanti candidate, MPP is an Ashanti party. They are more in the party than any other tribe. Stay there and f let them choose you. What happened in the special congress in Ashanti region? You got 10%, 10 votes. Bamiya got 80, 100 and something votes. Uh, Kenya Japan got five. So that means that even at your constituency, they don't like you. Don't let anybody, I don't want to use the word fool you, but lie to you to say that you are the Ashanti interest. The mere fact that you are Ashanti does not mean that Ashantis are going to vote for you. Wow. It doesn't mean because you come from Ashanti region, they are all going to, no. They are not voting for you. They are voting for their party. They have a party. So if you think that they are because you are their brother, you want to leave the party and go and stand ind independent, they will not follow you. They will play with you. Uh, the day they will vote, over who will vote? Over who? Bibi Bessi. Bibi Bessi. The wife will be Bibi Bessi. Bibi Bessi. That's the day over who Bibi Bessi. Bibi Bessi no Kasa and Neno. Voting day, we move here election no move. County votes. Uber who won one at the city testing mic. One 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 at the city testing mic. One two right. One two one two. Uber who at the city testing mic. 
Yeah, 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 put it down. You buy who? <laughs> but you see, test the mic. I tell you, like, say, easy. It's not easy to become a flag bearer. You saw it and you, yeah. you left it. It's not easy to become a leader of a political party. One who billboards in the whole Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have more than 1.5 million billboards in the whole country. Now, back where 100 cities now, count and see. Multiply 100 by cities by 1.5. No, who are a person? A busa. You think it's easy? Okay, Pierre will say, yeah. You think, do you know how much MPP put in their elections or NDC? Millions and millions of dollars in cities. People are sacrificing their resources for the party to win. Because they believe in the party. We have not gotten to the state where independent candidates can win elections in Ghana for now. But Mami has to say, that means uh, on way frame, but um, the, before Mbeko super delegates, Mino didn't come up. Emma, Oma predictions. And said, you okay, you know, uh, it was strange. Which is Alan and the uh, uh, Ken and the Huyu. And truly, Ken position number two, you no, know, prepare, pe. Going into the final lap November, no. Uh, looking at the way our Moke Kaki can work, no. What do you foresee? <coughs> the five candidates, no. And yet, is it? What do you say? Me me kita strategy, but me casa I am free of charge, but me payment casa because I'm also a political consultant. Okay. So if I'm going to tell you who and how the person can win, I'm giving the person free of charge. That you pay. Oh, okay. But I can tell you, but I can tell you what the person can do and win. The MPP flag bearership between Baumia and uh, Ken. Ken. Anybody who meets me. I will tell the person the policy to win the elections. Mm. It doesn't matter who. Any of them can win. Any of them can win. Any of them can win. But I have the master plan. Wow. Me and Mikita master plan. But any of them can win. Mm. Mm. They're consultants. No, no, I understand. I understand. It, it is good yes. to make it plain. Yes. Into which, uh, any of them that wants to win. You have the master plan. Yes. And so, and to state to say, and madam, if you say, one, the way I can be a bark on the bit to me, I win, and I say, but to say, say, any of them can win. Yes. Depending on what they do now. Yes. Any of them can win. Depending on the, the strategy and the master plan that I can release for the person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any of them can win. Bombia can win. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Alan, uh, 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 Kennedy Japo can win. But I have to give you the master plan. There is also, um, Komobi, of course, say, um, in case, say, Baumia, Erinia, Erekwa Koye, Mahama, Baumia, Ayarega, and Northern Caucus presidential race. Hmm. What do you make of that? And Tiamma is also another campaign strategy. ABC, you know. Yeah, come for us. We also have to come in. And it's, 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 it's not about tribal politics that we are doing. It's about competent leadership. Who is the best leader to lead our country? If the MPP presents Baumia, then that is the mean that Baumia is their best candidate. NDC has presented um, John Mahama. APC has presented Hassan Erika. It is not about. It's, it's rather. One would say is because the parties have presented them and they are northerners. But there has been instances where parties have presented every candidate and they were southerners. Nobody said anything. We have had those instances over and over. It is not about the tribal. We should not reduce it to tribal politics. We should reduce it to competent leaders who will be the best leader to lead. If they put Hassan Arga, they put John Mahama, and they put them from their personalities. Who do you think can turn the country around? And that is why this year we need a very serious debate. Okay. There should be a very serious debate. And this kind of debate, let's try and debate that people will come and sit. Not based bringing their manifestos, bringing booklets, and bringing all kind of sort of materials to come and sit there. No, let them have free speech. That is when you are able to tell that this leader has it all. 
And when he gets the opportunity to lead. But when we come with the manifesto, and we are all reading manifesto, reading manifesto, we are like, even the primary school teachers, students are better than us. Because when they are writing exams, they don't read from their books. But we go to a very serious debate and we are holding books. So if they ask you a question, you open. And uh, the, the NDC will do it, the ABC in our manifesto will do it. No, no the manifesto. Because when you are going to lead, you should know in your head, not reading. You should know the economic problems of this country and know the solutions of it. Right here. And then we should give everybody equal platform. Let the Ghanaian people give them the equal platform. And then let them express themselves. Let them be able to deliver. No favor for any party. Obe who? I didn't ever see. Your friends here. True green foods. Ah, if you're not purposely a memory, who bets me don't want to true green foods on Kwanzo? Say, and we are near, we hear so we'll be deep, not a preventing and young would be at say hypertension, diabetes. Cholesterol and all sorts of metabolic diseases, say stroke, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and then so forth. And one need true green foods. A boost to what you were so percent weight is so etiquette crap. And now we maintain you know, call no true green foods. Na a bear your home and I get fed. Did you be afraid? Seven zero three three hundred fifty thirty nine and in seven zero three six seventy thirty six forty. True green foods are promising corruption. Me did the young and touch for a maybe I'm discovered for you. I come a bush and for a Ghana. No, me use tap tap send tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Woo to your she me discover a year map pim tap tap send. In TNA, also download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakamu a busy and forward Ghana for name. Tap Tap Send. Papa no no. Hello, love. Gary, do you have mommy's parcel for her big day? The shipping company says it will take one month. A month? Ah, Gary, use Rapid. Rapid? Rapid courier ships from the United States to Ghana and nine other African countries within three to five days. Log on to rapidgroup.com, buy, ship to us, and we deliver right to your doorstep. That fast? Yes, that's Rapid for you. Can you sign this? I thought you only ordered Mami's parcel. No, I ordered a few car parts too. Are you too busy to shop? We will shop for you. Rapid also has a luggage delivery service so you can make that extra luggage and we will deliver at the lowest rate. Locate Rapid Courier on the Spinters Road of the Lekma Road. Rapid Courier, just shop. We deliver. MJ. African market and I'm Papa African market order four so bronze ha now open African market Papa Padija Makuma to yemu dia Malata African market Edemu Sunko smoke fish meat dry fish so pekenki rice yam fufu fla ni nyani ahodu e free Africa afei ye want to Papa Papa bo wire kente adamu masi kente ahweni ahodu ani nyoma bebre na ubenya wo Malata African market shushu yachi akwan ani a number e wo screen so Malata African market African market mu King Kong Malata African market and I'm Papa African market and I'm Papa Malata African market